The T-80 chassis has been proven to be extremely successful and versatile, particularly in Russian armored vehicle manufacture, defense modernization, and operations in harsh environments such as the Arctic. This chassis is often used not only for main combat tanks, but also as the base for armored recovery vehicles and has seen substantial upgrades and enhancements in recent years. Alexander Potapov, CEO of Ural Vaganzavod Concern, which produces many Russian armored vehicles, states that the T-80 chassis is a key platform for armored recovery vehicles. Previously, there were concerns about whether a recovery vehicle on the T-80 chassis could meet the required standards. Doubts about the T-80 chassis meeting strict standards stemmed from earlier issues with the platform. The T-80 had mixed combat results notably poor urban performance in the First Chechen War, due to design flaws like an exposed auto-loader ammo storage, limited gun elevation, and inadequate armor for urban combat. Concerns centered on the T-80's ability to deliver the toughness, reliability, and protection needed for demanding armored recovery tasks, working on the front line, towing damaged vehicles, and conducting repairs under fire. The T-80's gas turbine engine improved mobility and cold weather performance, but also brought high fuel use and logistical challenges, raising doubts about its suitability for support vehicles expected to operate reliably in harsh environments. Furthermore, the T-80's chassis and suspension systems, while advanced in mobility, may have faced concerns about their durability and capacity to withstand the added weight and operational stress of recovery equipment, such as cranes, winches, and bulldozer blades. The T-80 chassis was thought to be less adaptable and resilient for this task than the T-72 or T-90, which had been more thoroughly tested in various recovery scenarios. However, recent trials and tests have demonstrated that the new recovery vehicles based on the T-80 chassis operate with excellent efficiency and quality eliminating previous doubts about their capabilities. The updated Bram 80 showcased many of these modifications during a Ministry of Defense ceremony in February 2025. It now features full side armor protection, similar to that of the T-80 BVM tanks, which enhances survivability against battlefield threats. Mesh screens designed to counter kamikaze drone attacks, as well as modern electronic warfare devices to thwart hostile drone threats, provide additional safety. Although the Bram 80 is still being tested, these upgrades highlight the chassis potential and versatility in current armored support duties. The vehicle is equipped with a winch, crane, and bulldozer blade, allowing it to drag disabled equipment from the battlefield and perform on-site repairs during conflict. Eurovaganzavod also supplies modified tanks such as the T-72B3M, the Enhanced T-80BVM, and the T-90M Prorif Breakthrough, as well as powerful flamethrower systems such as the TOS-1A Solnt Sepek, demonstrating the company's versatility of platforms constructed on diverse chassis. The special military operation has dramatically increased production volumes at Eurovaganzavod sites, resulting in increased supply to the armed forces. Over the past three years, Ural Vaganzavod has introduced more than 200 improvements to enhance power, protection, and maneuverability in armored vehicles. Beyond these functions, the T-80 chassis has proven particularly competent in tough Arctic circumstances, making it suitable for missions in Russia's northern territories. Potapov stated that gas turbine-powered tanks, such as those based on the T-80 chassis, excel in severe conditions like the Arctic due to their engine performance in cold weather and overall dependability across Russia's enormous terrain. This versatility means that the T-80 chassis will continue to be produced in large numbers to support Russia's armored troops, particularly in locations that require highly mobile, cold-resistant vehicles. Over the past four years, the T-80 chassis family has undergone continual enhancements, including upgraded suspension systems, increased track longevity, and advancements in mobility and powertrain efficiency. These ongoing engineering advances enhance the chassis' off-road mobility, 
particularly in muddy and snowy terrain, which is common not only in the Arctic, but also in many Russian operational conditions. Upgraded T-80 models feature stronger torsion bars and hydropneumatic suspension components, enhancing ride stability and crew comfort during extended missions. Furthermore, efforts have been made to integrate the T-80 chassis with current battlefield management systems and enhanced defensive measures, including active protection systems (APS), capable of detecting and intercepting incoming projectiles. Improvements in engine maintenance and modular repairability at the chassis level have eased logistics and repair timelines, which are crucial for the high tempo of modern Russian armored vehicles. To summarize, the T-80 chassis remains a key component of Russia's armored vehicle arsenal, appreciated for its speed, versatility, and cold-weather capabilities. Its strong track record in armored recovery vehicles such as the Brem, 80 and combat tanks highlights Ural Vagonzavod's ongoing modernization efforts. These efforts, as evidenced by President Putin's celebration of 105 years of Russian tank construction and ongoing testing by the Defense Ministry, reaffirm the chassis' vital position in improving the capabilities of Russia's armored forces in the years ahead.